everyone, it's me, Axel from the Pacific Pal Show, live at the Aquarium of the Pacific. Today, I have a very special musical guest with me, my friend Martine. Hello! Hey! <laughs> We're going to be learning about some musical instruments today, but first tell us about yourself. Well, I'm a teacher and a performer and I play on stages and televisions. I do music for motion pictures and for little kids and... I'm up there doing a lot of different things. A lot of it is done with the instruments of ancient Mexico, and that's my heritage. Oh, that's my heritage, too. Yeah, I know. Even uh, your name is a, a native name, an uh, Asholot. A what? Asholot. Is that how you say my name? Uh-huh. In Spanish? I know, in Nahuatl. It's a native language. Oh. Many different languages in Mexico, not just Spanish. You know, Spanish comes from where? Uh, Mexico? No, it comes from what? Spain. Wait, Spanish comes from Spain? Yeah, listen, you can hear the name of the country and the word Espanol is de España. Ah, So that I makes see. us think, then if Spanish is from Spanish, then what happened to the Mexican language? It's still there, and we still speak a lot of oh, those words. Are we going to use those languages while we learn about the music of Mexico and all of these musical uh -huh. instruments? Yeah, yeah. To be really exact, I'm going to be playing instruments that are from ancient times. These are ancient Mexico. And I'll be talking about each different one. Everybody always looks at my table, especially like when I go to schools and stuff, and they go, Martin, you have so many instruments. And I always go, nope, I only have four. And they go, what do you mean four? There's a whole bunch. There's only four. And this happens all over the world. Everybody has the same stuff, which makes us have so many things in common and not so much indifference. Number one is the voice, first instrument. Everyone sings in their own beautiful languages of, of their countries, right? Yeah. And then the other one are instruments that have strings on them. So here's the first lesson. When you look at the instruments of North and South America, the only string instruments oh. we had uh, were these ones. They, they just didn't bother to, I don't know why, make guitars and harps and violins. Uh, you know, Martine, I'm going to stop you there for a second, okay? I don't mean to be impolite, but um, that doesn't look like a musical instrument to me. That looks like a bow and arrow. Yeah, it's the bow and arrow. And if any, if you've ever shot an arrow, you will hear this. No, look out! Yeah, oh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna fire a couple of those off. No, you hear a tone here. Listen. Oh. Dong. So it's every period of, everybody has always heard some sort of musical note. So you play it. Wait a minute, I can't hear it good. Yeah, I can't. And this hear is why it. I need to get my gourd over here. And it's hollow. It's a pumpkin-like plant. And if you look at it real good, it looks like a speaker. Oh. And so it acts a, as a resonator to make the sound come back again. So listen to what happens. The sound is going through the string, but there's no hole in the bow to let the sound out. So now we're going to put it on top of this thing that has a hole on it. Okay. So here is uh, our first instrument, and that's the only string instrument. So we have voice, string. The next thing we can talk about are winds. winds. And um, I've never really liked that word because it always makes me think, what am I going to do? Hold my flute outside and let the wind play it? And this is when <laughs> I pull it, right? No, that wouldn't work. Yeah. So I have to use two hands. And there are other flutes that they started getting crazy on with made of clay. What's that? And then there are even other ones that have just one hand so that a musician can play two instruments like what? this. And um, then there's other flutes that are single and, and straight cylindrical flutes. And there I thought are, that was a stick. Yeah, the, we, the, basically the shape is a cylinder. And then when they're round, it's spherical. Spherical. Like a sphere. Well, that makes and, sense. And uh, round flutes or spherical flutes are called ocarinas. Pretty beautiful, huh? That's that's magical. Yeah, it's got a real pretty little that creamy sound. magic. And, and see, inside there are at least five other kinds of wind instruments. There's flutes, ocarinas, trumpets. That's just a seashell. Yeah, Whoa. pretty cool. I will never look at seashells the same way again. Yeah, I know. I saw your gills blow Whoa. away right now. And then the other ones are pan pies. Now, these ones are from South America, but we did have them in Mexico. <laughs> Right? And so you have the flutes, ocarinas, trumpets, seashell trumpets, mm -hmm. pan pipes, mm -hmm. and whistles, all kinds of cool whistles to make the sounds of nature. Yeah. Martine, 
That's an owl. Yeah. And this is a really cool one, too. Uh, that is the unladen swallow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something like that. Let me make your head move around. Huh? And then inside this little piece of uh, wood is a little ball, and it rolls around, and it uh, sounds like something that you like. Me? Hey! That, that sounds like... Chapulinas. Chapulinas, yeah. Yeah, for those of you at home, Chapulinas is grasshoppers. Yeah. Yeah, and you can put them in a taco, or you can eat them in a Yeah, and we're not joking either, right? No, no, we're not. We're actually totally Some serious. Some parts of Mexico, they, they cook them and put them in the hot oil and cook them up and fry them. And all of my students always go, I've never ate that. And I go, have you ever tasted beef jerky? And all my students go, oh, I love beef jerky. And I go, that's exactly what the crickets taste like. <laughs> and they go, oh. Yeah, that's something axolotls and humans can enjoy mm -hmm, together. Mm -hmm. That's great. Great with guacamole. Oh, unbelievable. And uh, so uh, many whistles. Uh, here's one whistle that we were talking about earlier, my Ooh. jaguar. Ooh. Woo! <laughs> yeah. There's a kitty in there. <laughs> Somewhere. Wow. Wow. And uh, um, we have a lot of other things. Uh, the log drums. It looks like the shape, the shape of the letter H. And I play. And the uh, rattles. The rain sticks that make sound of water. And then I. Oh. Ah. Pretty cool, huh? That makes me sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> Wake. <laughs> so restful. Your gills are heavy. And um, we have the water drum, which we'll bring it up a little later, and the other big drum. But let's go right to a song. Can we do that? That sounds awesome. Right. Can and, I help um, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to ask you if you could. Uh, Play the um, drum or the rattle. Which one were you able to play right now? Hmm, I'm feeling in a rattle mood, rattle you mood. know? There's one right here. I if you can grab that little guy. And when we play the rattle, you always go down. Okay. So we're going to do a song called El Cuervo. It means the crow comes from the state of Sinaloa. So follow me. There you go. My yeah, friend. and it's really that was some really good playing, and you and you know what I liked about you? You kept right on time, and you and you didn't give up. Thank you. I have tenacity. Yeah, you do. You do. Yeah. yeah, and you also have a very good ear. Gee, thanks. Now, Martine, you're you're now my musical friend. How do you say you're my musical friend? You'd be my amigo. Tu, tu amigo musical. Me amigo musical. Yeah. All right. Let's play another song. Yeah. yeah. So our second song, we're going to do a little song from the state of Jalisco in Mexico. And it's a song called Vamo Ayeli. Uh, it sounds like it's Spanish, pero no es español. It's not Spanish. We're saying Vamo Ayeli. And the words mean, who is going to get the beautiful blue feathers for the medicine man? And uh, I'll, I'll teach you how to do the, the, the wee chola. I'm not a, a super expert at it, but I do the best. Oh, I think you're a super expert, Martine. Thanks, thanks. And the words go like this. Vamo ayeli. Vamo ayeli. Yo awime. Yo awime. Now, here's my part. Que poi meno holio When I do one, two, three, then you go, ah. Ah. Yeah, there you go, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> all right. Ah. Ah. There you go. That's good like that. <laughs> Vamo a yelly, vamo a yelly, yo a wime, yo a wime, que poime no holio hene. Ah. That's it, that's the whole song. You're hired. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, excellent. I take my payment in Chapolinas. And Chapolinas is a lot, a lot cheaper, yeah. Um, what instrument do you want to play? I've got you on the rattle first, or would you want to play the Teponazli log drum? I think, How about that one? Yeah, this looks pretty fun. I'd like to try this, please. Okay, here you go. Ah, thank you. Got a good grip, grip on that. Yeah. I know your uh, amphibians <laughs> are kind of we uh, can, slippery. That's what they tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know a little bit about amphibians. Yeah. Ooh, what is your favorite amphibian fact? A favorite amphibian fact? That they're not mean. That's true. I am very nice. Would you like a hug? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Here. Thank you. 
Well, this is nice. <laughs> okay, but shall we play the song? Let's uh, let's do it. Okay. Uh, we, you know, we're gonna use the log drum, and oh. let me show the audience real quick again. So it's the shape of the H. She's gonna hit dung 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 dung. Log drum or tempo nazli as we call it. Join in whenever you're ready. How's that? Yeah, perfect. So the song we're going to do next is going to use a different instrument, Axel, and it's called the water drum, tambor de agua, or in the, Yang, the Yaki language, my, uh, that's my side of the family, uh, my mama's side, that we say vacuvaje. Can you say that? Vacuvaje? Vacuvaje. Yeah, yeah. And it's a, we use it in the traditional deer dance in Mexico. Wow. And so let me uh, play it for you before you, you can hear it. Outside the water. Doesn't sound that too sounds good. That sounds like someone knocking on the yeah, door yeah, wearing yeah. mittens. Honey, who's at the door? I don't know. Yeah. And uh, it's a calabasa or a big fruit, uh, like a pumpkin plant. I took out all the seeds and then I painted on top of it. It's not traditional to paint it, but that's what I do. Oh, that's a gourd? It's a gourd, yeah. That's gorgeous. Hold on one second. Looking sharp, <laughs> Martin. <laughs> oh, he loves the camera. That's right, Chell. And so we're going to get the, uh, the gourd right here. It's going to float right in the water. It's just sitting there floating, right? And then here's how it sounds. Pretty sound, huh? So boomy. Yeah. And that tells you that sounds made out here are loud, but in water, they were way louder. Remember like those boats that are out there making all kinds of noise and you think it's loud out here? Imagine how loud it is underwater. You know, and the animals have to communicate with themselves and Our boats are making lots really of noise. really travels far under the water. Yeah, Doug, and I want you to play right on the top in the center of the drum. Martine, how did you learn about the water drum? Well, I did a lot of looking at different books and trying to find out more about my family's heritage. And I found out my mom's side of the family was Yaqui. That's the name of the native people that live in uh, Sonora, Mexico. And uh, grandpa specifically was Yaqui. And these are the instruments from the Yaqui people. This is our, we use this in the deer dance, or they call Danza del Venado. Yeah, and oh, so we, it's that. the heartbeat of the deer. And the water is used to uh, um, make people feel good. And it's a, it's, it's just a fun thing. Yeah. What do you say we make some deer heartbeat right now? That's right, that's right. The song we're going to do is called uh, Cancion uh, uh, a la Tortuga, and it's for the turtle. This song comes from Oaxaca, and there they honor the turtles when the turtles come out of the water to have the little babies. That's true. Sea turtles come from all over the Pacific Ocean mm -hmm. to lay their eggs in Mexico. And all the little turtles' eggs have to be protected. You know? These animals are honored for the, the beauty of their life. Uh, even here, even here, whatever you see, protect it. So here's our beat that you're going to follow. That's called a pulse, actually. Pulse. There you go. And keep doing it. And don't give up.
<laughs> that was awesome. I could feel the turtles with us today. Yeah, you feel that beautiful heartbeat. And it sounds like it's, some people say, why is the notes being the, the same song over and over again? Because it's meant to draw you in and make you feel good and relaxed and sort of like hypnotized or massaged with ah, sound. I you know? felt massaged with sound. Yeah. It's funny you should say that because that's what I was thinking. Yeah, and the water drum has a lot of special sounds that come out of it. Well, you know, I was I was hoping you could play one more song. You know, it's an ancient <laughs> one. Have you heard of the Macarena? No, we <laughs> What? <laughs> yes, I have heard okay, you've heard of it. It's okay, not good. The name of the song, though. What do you mean? The Macarena is at least like uh, like a million years old. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No? No, we're going to do a different one. We're going to do a different one. A different ancient song. Yeah, yeah different ancient song. Okay, yeah. we'll do this a different one. This one comes from Yucatan, the state of Yucatan in Mexico. Okay. It's a Mayan song. It's called Konish. It's in the Mayan language. And the words are simple the, in English. It means, come on, come on, kids. The sun is going down. Vámonos, vámonos, muchachos, porque ya se el culto del sol. And in Maya, I want you to repeat the words for me. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Konish, konish. Konish, konish. Palishin. Palishin. Shikubin, shikubin. Shikubin, shikubin. Yokolkin. Yokolkin. How is that? Good, good, good. You and like you, that? And now you know what the words mean, right? So let's come go. On. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. going to come down. Yeah, yeah. So if you think about it, it's a pretty cool song because it's the same song the same story we've heard all the time whether you live in the city or you live in the jungle is it's getting late mom i want to stay and play it's getting late come on <laughs> my mom used to say that to me yeah. and my brothers all the time it's like axel jaxel steven come in the house stop That's playing right. with your toys like, i want to stay and play go, no me madre says no and mom says, i got some chapulines and, and go, it, oh, all right mommy chapulines i am there <laughs> yeah <laughs> So I'm going to play a real cute little instrument called the ocarina. Aww, it's and I'm so going to blow cute. the seashell. Yes, yes, yes. So let's yeah. put some music to the song. Excuse me. Konish, konish, polishin. Konish, konish, polishin. Shikubin, shikubin, yokolkin. Shikubin, shikubin, yokolkin. Now you try it with me. Konish, konish, polishin. Konish, konish, polishin. Shikubin, shikubin, yokolkin. Shikubin, shikubin, yokolkin. You've got it. They're all hired, so you're hired too. You at home sound wonderful. Oh, you need an instrument. Yeah. Well, let's get you on the log drum here. Well, you said voice was an instrument. Yeah. Or you want to play the water drum again? I did like that. Okay. I mean, there's so many options. Yeah, there's a lot of fun. I have a lot more things at home. Yeah. So let's get the. Yeah, here you go. Here we go. Let's stick it there. Make sure you make sure that you don't don't let the stick drop in the water, Axel. Okay. Okay. And play right on top of the drum, and then I'll join you on the long drum. We'll have a little more full sound. Okay. Here we go. Here's how the song goes. Follow me. Okay. Okay. So there you have it, Axel. We did a lot of stuff. We covered a lot of ground. I just want to thank everybody for having me come over and play, and, and thank you, uh, Axel, for just inviting me. You know, I got the I got your your call this the other Aww. day. I was happily. I heard a lot about you, and uh, I thought I got to do something for this guy. <laughs> um, well, likewise, me amigo. 
Yeah. Well, well, it was uh, great to have a new friend now. Yeah. We hope that everybody enjoys the music, enjoys the sound, and enjoys uh, supporting this beautiful place that takes care of these wonderful animals. And uh, you made my day and made my night and made my week and my month. No, you made mine. Let's end it with a hug. <laughs> Aw. Me, amigo. <laughs> He's so soft. I know. And thank you all out there for joining us. We hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you soon at the Aquarium of the Pacific. Woo! Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Adios. Adios.